In this video, I'll show you how to edit an observation. I'll borrow this observation of a yet-to-be-identified dicot seen often in rocky places and on the ground here. You click on the observation and open it up and in the top right is edit. From here you can edit uh, the date if you're missing a date. You'll notice uh, our time zone should be set to uh, GMT plus 11. This is a perfectly good one to use right there. And uh, over here on the middle section, you can edit the location if you need to. You can do an edit also from the map if you needed to. You will have to zoom way in but get the plant to the right location or if it's missing a location you can add a location and so you can do that there if you didn't get pictures loaded you can add pictures here uh, from this but from here you can get them from your hard drive this is probably the best place but you click on choose files and then you can navigate to where your files are and you can <coughs> uh, bring them up and those are the three things you're going to need for a observation of course you need a date you need a location you need a uh, photo in order to have a observation that can be confirmed uh, so that that's how you basically edit it when you're done you simply uh, click save observation now, this particular observation doesn't need editing so I'll just cancel this but that's how you edit an observation. Uh, you do generally have to edit an observation. Uh, it's, well, I should say it's easier to edit the observation from here on the desktop and the desktop version or laptop version. But I'll also take a look at how one can edit an observation on the app. That can also be done.